Big carp in open water are at the top of my list for fresh water. This slide does really well in these situations, but also with harder bottoms and a bit clearer water in general. I call it the jackalope, since it's a jack-of-all-trades kind of carp fly, and because it's tied with a rabbit strip. Let's get started. This fly, like many before it, starts with a thread bump before the eyes. This keeps the eyes in place and gives you a point of reference. Spin the thread and pile thread wraps over one another to form this bump. After your exquisite thread bump, tie down a pair of gold bead chain eyes. As I've said in other videos, I like to use a few different ways to attach these. I use crisscross wraps, go around the eyes, and often around each side of the eye as well. This is how they should look. Also don't forget that you can use heavier or lighter eyes depending on the conditions. After you've made enough wraps, bring your thread to the back of the hook and form another small thread bump. This helps keep the rabbit strip from sliding. Then grab two strands of copper holographic flashaboo and fold them over the thread. Then wrap back over them. Cut just a little off to make them a bit more manageable. Wrap forward and attach two orange silly legs with black barring. Start wrapping back as you pull on the silly legs, but don't pull these too hard or you're going to bust them off. As you get toward the end, release the pressure and tie down. Now wrap forward and fill in with some thread wraps to make it even and pretty. Next, wrap down some Mitch Cactus Chanel, starting from the bead chain eyes. Wrap all the way to the back and then forward, and now wait for further instructions. Give the fly a dab or two of Zapigap. Wrap the Chanel, being careful to not catch the point of the hook or disaster occurs. Now cover your poor naked fly with Chanel all the way to the eyes. Make some wraps on the chenille and then cut off the tag end. Admire it for a second and then turn the fly upside down. It's time to bring in the rabbit fur. Make sure that you have enough of an overhang with the rabbit fur on the front. Now poke the rabbit strip with the hook point. Be careful here not to push too fast over the barb or you're going to make too big of a hole. Then take the fly out, pull the rabbit down and reinsert. It may take a bit of fussing with the hair before this is possible, however. Make sure the hair is up so that you can add some zapigap to the body of the fly. Bring the strip forward and then make it flush on the back. However, don't forget to bring your thread forward like I did here.
Now we can continue. Make a split in the hair in front of the eye. You can slobber on your hands first to wet down the hair. I save you that experience, however, in this tutorial. Now pull the hair back and wrap forward. Take some wraps in front and then back again. Cut off the tag end and any remaining hairs that get in your way. Master the hair like a champ. Whip finish the head until the hide is covered. Snip off your thread now. This guy's ready for a thorough zappa gapping. Just a little more. Now cut the height so that the hair in the back is about the size of the shank. Then cut the legs and the flashaboo to about the same length. Here's how the finished fly will look. Tie it in any color you like. It actually makes a good looking bonefish fly in tan. Carp on. We hope this fly brings you scads of golden ghosts. If you want to see more, subscribe here. Also, this fly is connected with an article, which you can find here. Thanks for taking a look.